The peace of the Lord be with you all. This is your humble servant at Faith Journey, reaching out to everyone with an invitation to come and rest in the love and grace of God tonight. Sit comfortably, open your hearts wide, and let the Spirit reach you wherever you are. And I'm here with you, joining you in prayers and reflections, dear listeners. Let us seek tranquility and hope in the power of God's Word. Tonight, my brothers and sisters, we will send a powerful prayer for those of you who are struggling with insomnia, depression, and anxiety, that they may find peace, rest, and the comfort that only God can provide, so they can wake up renewed and filled with energy for tomorrow's work, for serving humanity, serving our Lord. O oh, most compassionate Father, hear our pleas. Amen. Each word, each sentence in Psalm 34, Psalm 34 is a stream of divine wisdom and reassurance, a beacon of hope for those who feel swallowed by life's challenges and trials, for those who feel lost, for those who find it hard to sleep at night because of the thick shadows of worry and fear. It is not just a verse, my friends, it is God's promise to us. This stupendous verse tells us that our mighty God listens when we call on Him. He comforts the brokenhearted and saves those burdened with grief. He is there for us when we lose our way, when we feel forsaken. Let's remember, the righteous cry out, the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. In the face of uncertainty, Psalm 34 is a firm reminder, a balm to our weary spirits that God's love, protection, and guidance are always with us, even in the silence of the midnight hour. We just have to stop, seek His presence, and let the whisper of His assurances restore our peace. And with that, let us dive into the depth of these holy words and unlock their power in our life. Our gracious Lord makes His promises and keeps them. Psalm 34 cheers and gives strength to the faith of those who believe, trust, and take refuge in Him. Let's carry this light to our prayer, dear friends. Now, my dear ones, let us form a family of prayer. Pour out your hearts and thoughts in the comments. Leave the names of those dear ones for whom you seek God's precious intervention and protection. Let us raise these names, these souls, to our Heavenly Father in unity, because together we will pray and present them all to God. And if these words today have reached and resonated within your spirit, warm your hand on that like button, ring the bell of notifications, and subscribe to join our growing prayer family here at Faith Journey. May you each be a beacon too, sharing this message and these moments of peace and strength with your loved ones. May our Lord shine His light upon you and bless you abundantly in all your ways. Amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, I would like to invite Pastor Elias to bless us with the reading of Psalm 34, Psalm 34. Please, brethren, unite with us in this sacred moment of revelation and divine connection as we listen to the holy words of our God. Certainly, Bishop. I invite each of you to engage with this reading. Pray along with me, repeating the words quietly or imagining them in your mind, claiming the promises within this majestic Psalm 34. Through the divine whispers in this psalm, may we all find tranquility in our hearts and strength in our spirit. So, let us bow our hearts in reverence to the Word of God. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt His name together. I sought the Lord, and He answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Those who look to Him are radiant, and their faces shall never be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear Him and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in Him. O oh, fear the Lord, you His saints, for those who fear Him have no lack. The young lions suffer want and hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, O children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Rears. What man is there who desires life and loves many days, so he can see good? The eyes of the Lord are towards the righteous, and his ears towards their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil to cut off the memory of them from the earth. 
When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. Amen. Wow, how comforting it is to hear this prayer, how it touches our hearts. I always get emotional and very joyful when I read this prayer. It is a power that emanates from God and strengthens us and gives us hope in this early morning. And as a spiritual exercise for this week, I would like to give you a touchstone of faith. Every night before you prepare to sleep, I encourage you to prayerfully listen to this Psalm, Psalm 34. Let its words wash over you, soothing your worries and leading you towards sweet dreams. The peaceful slumber that comes from resting in the Lord is a blessing unto itself. So throughout the week, I encourage you to revisit this prayer. Take refuge in his words, envelop and strengthen you as you prepare to rest. It will indeed be a blessing in your life. May the peace of our Lord be with you always, amen. And as we come to a close, remember, dear listeners, all the blessings contained in Psalm 34 are now upon you. These holy words, these promises of protection, deliverance, and salvation are the powerful armor of God. Rest assured, these blessings now surround your house and extend to your family, bringing protection, peace, and prosperity. God is bestowing upon you an abundance of his gracious favor. God bless you abundantly, my brethren. In his great love, he watches over you, now and always, amen. As we close this evening's reflection, I urge you, my dear brethren, to take action and share the blessings and messages contained in Psalm 34. Pass this prayer on to those you care about, your family, your friends, your colleagues. Remember, in this vast world, there are so many seeking solace, peace, and divine intervention. So many longing for comforting words and promises that lie in this psalm. Let's ponder over this. If you share this prayer with just 10 individuals, even if just one among them finds the light and inclines to the word of our loving God, imagine the transformation that can occur. As Psalm 34 touches them, divine blessings will shower upon them, enriching their lives. Hence, in this simple act of sharing, you play a significant role in someone's spiritual journey. As you continue to share the Word of God, continue to bring blessings into your life and into the lives of those who listen. Go forth with God's Word, my brethren. God bless you. Amen. And now, my beloved brethren, a small but powerful exercise for you. After listening to today's midnight prayer, I encourage you to put pen to paper, write down your emotions, your reflections, your insights, anything that this prayer and discussion over Psalm 34 has awakened within you. Begin to keep a spiritual journal. This act of personal meditation is a beautiful way to understand and deepen your faith. Over time, this journal will become a sacred record of your spiritual journey and growth, a testament to your faith's resilience and power and the movement of God's hand in your life. In times of joy, you'll see God's blessings. In times of struggle, you'll trace his guiding hand. Begin today, my brethren, and let his words guide your reflections and writings. God bless you abundantly, amen. As we draw this blessed episode of our faith journey to a close, let us end it the only way fitting, with a prayer. May the God of limitless peace bless you, guide you, and surround you with his unfailing love. May your nights be restful and your days filled with the joy of his presence. Remember, my dearest brothers and sisters, the message we shared on Psalm 34 still echo. Take them, internalize them, and live them out to the best of your ability. Until we meet again in prayer, I bid you good night and God's abundant blessings. Oh. Brothers and sisters, we thank you for joining us tonight. We would love to have you with us every midnight for our reflective prayers and discussions on Faith Journey. If you haven't yet, please subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our prayers and reflections. Remember, the Word of God is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. May you always find solace in His Word. God bless you abundantly. Until our next prayer, stay blessed and remain under the wings of His protection. Be seer. And to all those staying up, unable to find sleep or needing to work or study through the night, remember, the Lord is watching over you. May you find solace and comfort in Him.
May his peace infuse your sleep, work, or studies, making your night calm and bright. Remember, my brethren, those who keep a prayer vigil. Your labor in the Lord is not in vain. The Almighty recognizes your dedication. May your fortitude bring forth abundant blessings and God's favor in due time. Good night, dear brothers and sisters. Remember, God is with you. Amen.